everybody and welcome to another travel vlog. Today I'm in the Czech Republic with my university choir. Um, we're singing some concerts here and in Slovakia. And at the moment we're in a town called Olomunk um, and we just got here after a 25 hour coach journey which was kind of terrible and I got about one hour sleep but it's okay because we're here now and this hotel room is really really beautiful but I just wanted to show you like the view outside and show you a little bit of the Czech Republic this is our view of the town and some lovely scenery and greenery in the distance we're gonna go down there in a minute and explore with the rest of the group but I'm staying with a roommate who I don't really know very well, but we're going to become friends, aren't yeah. we? <laughs> this is Bo. Hello. Bo is an illustration Hello. student. Hello. Yeah, so that is the situation at the moment. <laughs> the next day now and we're sightseeing some more. Bo has a camera so we're going around taking loads of professional looking artsy shots by this river and um, yeah I'm hoping to get some more footage today. We're singing a concert. <laughs> Stop laughing at me! We're singing a concert so there should be some cool things going on. Hey so I'm back in the hotel room at the moment. I got really tired while everyone was sightseeing and doing their thing and my back started to hurt even though I'd only been out for about half an hour. So I had to come back and rest which is kind of rubbish but you know this is just what happens to me. Um, I get really tired when I'm travelling and I have to take a lot of rest but I don't really mind. Um, we're seeing a concert later, our first one. I think the choir do three concerts and I'm in the choir. So, um, yeah, we've got our first one later today, so I thought I would just rest and make sure I'm in good form for that. Um, yeah. I just thought I would express, this is such a lame touristy thing to say, but how exciting it is when you go to a hotel room in a foreign country and you get your own kettle. Wow, that's pretty loud. So, hang on, I'll turn it off while I while I vlog. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a cup of tea while I wait for everyone to get back and eat one of these croissanty things, which are actually my favourite kind of thing to eat, but you can't find them in the UK. Um, I had them when I went to Bulgaria and I kind of fell in love with them. Uh, this is some of our music that we're singing. Uh, a composer called Vorjak. He's Czech. It's just your, uh, you know, religious mass latin text tippet these are like gospel they're called negro spirituals which is really problematic but you know um and then we have hummel for when we go to bratislava because he was born in bratislava apparently and we sing a lot of shakespeare um music that has been composed with shakespeare's words because um we thought we would bring some English music to our concerts while we're you know performing in other places and we've done a lot of concerts singing um, this Shakespeare text because it was Shakespeare's 400th anniversary of his death recently um, so we've done a lot of that and even though I really hate Shakespeare I love singing those songs because I don't know they're just set really nicely and I really enjoy them so they're going to be my favorite thing in the concerts to sing that was a big ramble I'm going to make my tea now 
Hello, we drove to a town called Lipnik for our concert and we have some free time before our rehearsal. So we're having a picnic in Lipnik, which is hilarious. And we went to Lidl and bought loads of fruit and things and now we're just waiting. Hello, so today is Tuesday and so far I've filmed a lot of clips of me explaining to you what I'm doing but not actually showing you. And it's kind of been awkward to vlog here because a lot of the people here I don't actually know very well and it's really awkward for me just to like get my camera out and shove it in their faces and be like do you want to be on YouTube? Like <laughs> that's that's really strange um, but today I actually have a free day and um, I'm on my own for most of the day because most of the people I know are going to Prague but it takes two and a half hours to get to Prague by train and I don't want to go because that seems like a really long journey to me right now and my back was so sore yesterday that I actually had to do the concert sitting down and I've never done that before so I really have to take it easy today and I'm, I'm probably going to be by myself for most of the day there's an art museum that I want to go to and then I'm just going to wander around um, probably sit in a cafe, <laughs> read a book, just chill out the weather is beautiful so um, that's not too bad. So the concert yesterday went really well. It was in this um, community centre slash art and culture centre. There was loads of sculptures everywhere and paintings on the wall and it was really pretty. And um, we kind of nearly filled out the whole centre. Almost all the chairs were filled up which was really cool for us because usually when we sing concerts most of the audiences, or a large part of the audience anyway, is made up of our friends and family and people that we know but knowing this time that we were in a different country and none of the people were there because they knew us they were there for the music or you know that was really cool and they seemed to really enjoy it they clapped loads there was a, a young girl in the audience who asked my friend for her autograph um, which was really really sweet so we obviously made a big impression on her and it was just a really successful concert overall um, and I managed to do it despite my ailments, so that was that was great. And um, we have another one tomorrow. But yeah, today is about chilling out, enjoying the sun, and exploring the town a little bit more. again it is sometime in the afternoon now and I just went on a really long walk expedition thing I went to the museum and it was super confusing because I tried to buy a ticket as you do managed to do it but then apparently my ticket wouldn't let me in all of the exhibitions in the museum so I tried to go in this room that had paintings hung up in it obviously and this woman stopped me and tried to talk to me in Czech so obviously I said I'm sorry I don't understand Czech and then she tried to explain in English that I was only allowed to go in certain places but um her English wasn't very good so I still didn't really get it and then all of the doors were closed to the various rooms and people would have to come and open the doors and it just felt very awkward and strange what I did see was quite nice though there were some really seriously old books from like the 13th century and stuff in there and really old bibles and beautiful things like that and then there was um, a room full of hand-drawn art and I read that there was a period of time where um, pencil drawings were really really popular in, in this country and that was really interesting but I felt very awkward so I left the museum quite quickly and then I went to sit at a, a cafe read my book for a while but the cafe got really full and um, this Czech family decided to 
sit at my table which I didn't mind but I felt very awkward because they didn't speak any English either so I was just kind of sitting there as an outsider. Going around a foreign city by yourself is very bizarre. Um, when you're with someone you can kind of like puzzle it out together but um, when you don't speak um, any of the language. I know about I would say six or seven Czech words but if I need to ask someone a question or I don't understand anything it's very hard to communicate and you just kind of get by by gesturing and smiling. Um, it's very bizarre doing that by yourself but I did it and I'm back now. I'm going to go to the supermarket in a minute and attempt to buy lunch because I didn't really see anything out that I wanted. There was a pizza place that looked pretty good but I don't feel like eating pizza. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a rest, go to the supermarket which is just around the corner and then I have absolutely no idea after that. Maybe I'll try and learn some Slovakian words because we're going there tomorrow. 